Hi, I'm Rupert from the Kite Surf Centre and today we're going to be looking at the new Duotone D-Lab Juice. So that's the 13 metre we've got here um, and this is the highest end in all of their models of kites and it's all about the light wind ability of the kite. So the key thing is the material. So they've switched from kind of the Dacron um, to the Alula material on this leading edge. Um, easy way to spot it is it's kind of all shiny. So the biggest advantage with this upgrade to the kite is its weight. It means that you can have a kite that's almost 30% lighter than the standard standard model. Um, they haven't actually cut down the strut, so they've, they've stayed with the three strut designs. You've still got that nice solid shape in the sky, but it's going to be really good for getting you going in that light wind. Um, you've still got the fifth line option, so if you did want to when you're out foiling, attach that fifth line to the centre there. That's still going to be an option um, and it's just all about helping the characteristics when you're out foiling or flying in the light wind so having that light wind kite is going to mean that you can do loops and that kite's going to rise back up in less wind um, it's going to be good if you just dive the kite to get yourself up and going and then again it's going to rise back up it's going to be more stable so if you're even if you're like kind of learning not in, in anywhere near foiling it's still going to be helpful because you can have that kite sitting up at 12 o'clock in a lot less wind so you can concentrate on putting your board on getting yourself up and riding so it's just going to be an advantage for everyone this so really good light wind model that's come out now the top of the range in the duotone so we've got the d lab right up the top there then we've got the sls and then we've got the standard model so kind of something for everyone these d labs is kind of as high end as you can get at the moment with the kind of the top of the performance i think from the bridles to the leading edge and the rest of the material so it's going to be a good one to get, get into it's going to really open up the wind ranges that we can go kiting in today we're going to be seeing what all about the new duotone d lab juice so this is the pinnacle of their design at the moment it's kind of using all the latest materials using the alula material which makes it extra light lightweight so they claim this 30% lighter than their other models. So today we're going to compare the weight of this to other kites around in the market, um, other lightweight kites, and also see what kind of older kites are like and what the difference really is in the weight. So first of all, um, let's start with the uh, with the, the D-Lab juice. So nice lightweight bag as well. So this. Coming in at 2773, and that's a 13 metre kite. So that's pretty light for a 13 metre kite, great for travelling with, and going to be amazing in light wind. So, comparing that to probably the other lightest kite on the market at the moment, that's the Erish Ultra. So, again, Pretty lightweight this is a 12 meter so it should come up a little bit less in theory it's a meter smaller um you can see vacuum packs when they turn up so they're extra small be tricky to pack it that small again and that's 2875 so it's probably the lightest type we've had before and that's even that's heavier than the juice so going to a more kind of standard model we'll go with the, the north carve 12 meter So three nine four zero three nine one four. There we go. So a little bit heavier again. Um, a bit more to these kites. You can kind of see. Obviously, this one's been unwrapped once, but wrapped back up. But you can see, see a lot more to the kite. And then if you go for an older design kite, so um, a Korean switchblade. Um, it's going to be 11 meter, so it should in theory should be, should be the lightest of all the kites, but older design, we've got four years old this kite, um, so let's see how that one compares. So, 3762. So, the smallest of all of them, but kind of, yeah, 3.7 kilos there. 
So that's obviously almost an entire kilo more than the D-Lab. So that newer Lula material that's on this kite really is helping it create a nice light wind kite, getting up and going in uh, a lot less wind and lighter conditions.